Hey everybody, it's Dr. Rick, and as you can tell, <clears throat> we're getting a break from the blazing heat because we're in the middle of thunderstorms. Uh, we're actually under 90 degrees right now, which is crazy. It's, we've been hitting triple digits for a while. So uh, I don't mind getting wet. Uh, I'll take the uh, drop in the temperature at least for a short period of time because I know we'll be back. We haven't even gotten into July yet. Um, I'm not going to be long. I just wanted to remind you guys that we're in the middle of a fundraiser push for the remainder of this month and July we are trying to raise $25,000 for the work we do in the community. Our primary focus is on the work we do with Black Men Lead, our Rite of Passage initiative which has expanded into wraparound services for Black males uh, age, up to age 30 and in instances beyond that because I know that we recently reached out and helped a, uh, a gentleman who had a 14 year old son, he was 52. So. Uh, we also have other programs. We work extensively with young black females who are struggling with addiction, childhood sexual trauma, sex trafficking, and more. Uh, we will continue to do that. Uh, I'll be filling you in more on that. But for those of you who have followed us for any stretch of time, you know the work we do. You know the amount of uh, attention that I've given to addressing the issues that plague the black community, everything from uh, socioeconomic issues to uh, the miseducation of black youth to the failure to properly affect and effectively socialize young black males, which leads to higher rates of violence, higher rates of dropping out, higher rates of criminality, ultimately ending in higher rates of incarceration and ineptitude in the ability to provide for families and provide for themselves. Uh, we know for a fact that properly socializing young black males reduces the risk for all of those things we just mentioned and increases the chances of being productive members of society, being loving and caring husbands and fathers, and being business owners. Uh, we need this so desperately because it doesn't just impact men. If we don't create and build strong black men, we fail our daughters. And to this point, we have. We have failed our daughters because we are unleashing unprepared black males on them, masquerading as men, and it's costing us dearly in so many different ways. I cannot uh, impress upon you the severity of the need for a national and universal rite of passage when it comes to uh, what manhood means, how do you get to manhood, how do you model it, how do you teach it, how do you prepare young black males to execute it. All of these things are immensely important and I am calling upon each of you and challenging each of you to support the work we're doing. Uh, and this is an ongoing effort. We've been doing this for years. This isn't something new. This is just a point to where we're pushing it and we're asking for help to take it to another level. And I believe that it's more than possible to do some extraordinary things over a very short period of time. We need to be able to do that because of the uh, precarious situation that we have placed ourselves in. I am not going to prolong this, but I am going to ask that if you don't know who we are and what we do, there's a link in there that takes you to our official website and you can see the work and intensity that goes in there. You can follow and find out what we're doing. But for those of you who have followed me, those of you who tell me you believe in what I do, those of you who have been immensely supportive in the past and just being a spiritual uh, column and pillar that I can lean on, I'm calling on you now to step up and be a supporting factor. Obviously, uh, the rain is not helping with the audio, uh, so I'm not going to stay on it long, but all the information you need to give and to learn more about what we do is going to be in the description box. Now I'm going to challenge you to respond to this in a way that you've never responded before, and I appreciate it in advance.